I'm Abram and this is my Eclipse 500. The Eclipse 500 was released in 2006 and was the first of the very light jet category. After restructuring due to bankruptcy in 2009, in 2011 they came back with the new Eclipse 550. Over 260 of these aircraft have been built with an initial sticker price of just under two and a half million dollars. The aircraft has six seats, including the pilot seats, and can do 330 knots, only using 100 gallons of fuel per hour, and has a range of over 900 nautical miles. In this video, we're going to learn more about the airplane from its owner, Abram, and then take it up in the air for a flight. So let's learn more what it's like to fly the Eclipse 500. I have loved airplanes and aviation for as long as I can remember. You know, I remember being a kid and just being completely obsessed with airplanes and rockets and things like that. I actually started flying when I was in college and got my private pilot's license in college, uh, my instrument rating when I was in law school and just started uh, owning airplanes and, and accumulating uh, hours after that. And here we are about 30 years later. This is an Eclipse 500. The Eclipse 500 is one of the very light jets that you know have come out in the last 10, 15 years or so. One of the first to market. Came out, uh, came out initially with, with a substantial number of issues. I'm happy to report they've really made it a, a, an outstanding airplane. This is a 2.07 which is the software version that it runs, the, uh, the avionics version that it runs. What I use it for is I use it to support me in my business. I use it for a lot of volunteer flying and I use it for personal transportation. It's still a jet airplane and it still requires a type rating to get uh, in order to be able to fly the airplane. And, and in fact, it has to have a single pilot exemption for your type rating in order to fly a single pilot. We still do, I, I did the initial training uh, to get the type rating, and then you have your annual recurrent training as well. It will hold up to six people, including the pilot. I have mine configured with five seats, and I have had five adults in the airplane, including myself. Range is going to be, uh, if, the limitation there is weight, and with full fuel, it's about a 600 pound uh, useful load. The range is going to be, with full fuel, I like to call it 900 miles or so. It's really a three hour airplane. Anything over three hours, I'm looking for a fuel stop in between. Um, I, I will go a little bit longer than three hours if it's pretty clear weather and, and uh, I feel uh, comfortable with conditions where I'm going. But for the most part, it's a 900 mile airplane. The airplane likes to cruise in the mid 30s. Uh, that's where it's fastest and it'll cruise at about 365 knots. Uh, in the mid 30s. However, I tend to fly it a little bit higher. I like to fly 40,000 to 41,000 where it's you're getting a, a little better fuel burn, you're getting a little bit more range and very often I'm finding that the uh, penalty in, in uh, true airspeed isn't that bad because you get higher, uh, you get lower temperatures up high. Oh, it's an incredibly unique airplane. It's, uh, I think most people will tell you it's one of the most fun airplanes to fly. Uh, it's of all the light jets, it's it's the most efficient airplane by far uh, than any of the other light jets. It just, when, when I tell other pilots the kind of fuel burns I get and the speeds that I get for those fuel burns, there's just nothing comparable to it in the market. The avionics package is, uh, is not your standard avionics. It's actually uh, by a company called ISNS and it's a little bit uh, cumbersome, you'll see there's some, a lot of button pushing, but it's a highly functional uh, avionics package. Up at altitude, up in the 40s, 40, 41,000, you're seeing 180 to 190 pounds per side. And then when down in the mid 30s, it's not too bad. You'll still get uh, about 320 to, I'm sorry, 230 pounds per side. Well, one of the, the great things about this airplane um, because the operating costs are so low, it, it, it's, I never think about whether or not uh, I, need, I can, you know, I can go flying. So I use it a lot. In addition to my business, which I fly all around uh, South Florida, actually all around Florida, uh, a lot of the Southeast United States to Texas, and I've taken it as far as San Diego. Um, 
So in support of my business, it's been fantastic as a tool. In addition, it's great as a part of my mission is to use aviation to help other people. And in so doing, I've been a volunteer pilot for Angel Flight. I've been, uh, I am a volunteer pilot for the Veteran Airlift Command, which uh, is a phenomenal organization, takes wounded vets and their families either to and from treatment or to, uh, uh, to events that are, that are customized for wounded veterans, those types of things, helping them in their recovery process, especially because commercial transport, uh, transportation is just not easy for those individuals. Uh, in addition, uh, a couple of times a year, there's uh, two events that I fly for called Challenge Air and Vital Flight, which is geared towards disabled children and giving them the opportunity to experience uh, an airplane ride. And, and if they're able to actually sit in the front seat with me and fly the airplane a little bit, showing them that just because they're disabled doesn't mean that they can't accomplish other things. I don't think twice about doing those types of things because it's such an affordable airplane to fly. My company is Staplink Outsourcing Incorporated. Staplink is a professional employer organization and we are basically a human resources outsourcing company for small and mid-sized companies. What we do is everything related to employees for those businesses. So we do payroll, payroll tax administration, we do workers' compensation administration, benefits, benefits administration, risk management, and human resources. And what we do is we allow smaller companies to have access to an entire HR department, an entire benefits department. Uh, it's, it's just like the big companies do. Uh, I can be reached by email at abram at stafflink.net or on my uh, office line at 954-423-8262. Yeah, I just really appreciate you having the opportunity to share my eclipse with uh, with you and with your with your with your viewers. All right, you ready to go fly? Let's go fly. All right. We started up the jet, and it was time to take it up in the air. Executive Ground Clip Chef Four Eight Kilo Yankee at Banyan Information Tango Request Taxi Runway Two Seven. November Four Eight Kilo Yankee Executive Ground. Runway 27, taxi via Bravo, hold short, taxiway Echo. That's a left on Bravo, hold short of Echo, 8 Kilo Yankee. That's pretty amazing, 1,180 pounds of fuel. I, you know, I used to fly Gulf Streams mostly, and that, that wouldn't even get us to the taxi. I know. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm telling you, man. My, the guys that I fly with, because I fly a few other airplanes as well, just... Um, I, I used to call it a hobby, but it's actually become my other my other job. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, like it's addictive, right? You know? It does. It is, man. I just love it. Yeah. Uh, I should hold short echo. Yeah. So um, yeah, the guys that I fly, three, one, the uh, oh, three, one, other three, one, stuff three, one, with, three, one, they're like, what? You land with four hundred pounds? <laughs> continue via right. echo. Correction. Continue via Bravo Echo. Cross runway three one behind the caravan. That's Bravo, Echo, cleared across 3-1 behind the caravan. It was a hot summer day for this flight, so unfortunately we had some camera overheating problems with the GoPros. GoPros can get pretty hot just operating on their own, but put them on a hot dash, it's even worse. Kilo Yankee, fly straight out, runway 27, cleared for takeoff. Straight ahead, runway 27, cleared for takeoff, 48 Kilo Yankee. Okay, takeoff configuration is good, and six, three, stand four, them up. Runway 31, cleared to land. Release brakes. We're going to get our ITT spike and then go down, and we're going to go full. And APR is armed. Yeah, you can feel it pushing you back a little. Airspeed's alive. 60 knots cross check. There's 70. Over 600, Tango Papa, fly straight out, runway 31. They're getting off the ground about 90 knots. Uh, yeah, 87 was where I rotated. Oh, wow. And there go the gear. Tower 684, Delta Mike number one. That's nice. It's a very smooth airplane. Yeah, it does feel really smooth. I mean, it's, it's a summer day here in... South Florida. Yeah, it <laughs> is. Should be bumpy. Eh, it might be coming in. Yeah. But we'll see. Okay, so there's 400 feet heading. Yaw damper is on. 
and I'll hand fly for a little bit. I'll give you an opportunity to play around with it as well. Sure. Okay. So is it pretty short field capable then? It, it is. I don't like landing in less than 4,000 feet. 4 Kilo Yankee, contact Miami departure. Off to departure for 4 Kilo Yankee. Thank you. 3,000 there's traffic, 1 o'clock, 10 miles southbound, Boeing 737 descending out of 5 for 2. Um, I think that has more to do with pilot skill than uh, right. airplane capabilities. When I trained, I was actually training on a about 2,500-foot runway. So I know I can stop at 2,500 feet, but why risk it? Yeah, and you can, you know, wear a chair on the brakes and stuff. Exactly. When you pay for the brakes. Yeah. East of Boca, what aircraft type, what speed service type you're in? SR-22 for 200 feet. I'm going to go ahead and stop at 2,000 just to get a little further west, and we'll climb up to our altitude. Miami departure, Clipship 4 a Kilo Yankee is uh, off of Fort Lauderdale Executive, heading 270, VFR flight following. Number two echoes here, sir, right turn, heading of uh, 130. Uh, you want to putz around with it for a little bit? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. You got the airplane? I have the airplane. Yeah, from way, uh, to four final course, I just got these new sunglasses and they're polarized. I can't ah. see <laughs> <in> the final <laughs> course. I didn't realize they were. Yeah. Oops, sorry about that. Well, for the for the boating, you kind of need polarized, but for airplanes, they're not good. Cause, uh, no. I don't know if the viewers know it, but you can't see the screens when they're... Exactly. Remaining your presence squad for your class trolley transition. Contact Fort Lauderdale Tower on 119. All right, let's go ahead and get it up to 6,500. Okay. Proceeding with the same squad, 119.3. Go ahead, 435. I just confirmed 130 heading for two echoes here. What do you normally climb out at? It's going to set it for you, but the the speed is bugged, so it'll be about 168 knots. Oh, okay. It's actually a fairly small, uh, fairly uh, slow uh, climb speed. Yeah, I think you say 168. Yeah, traffic inside, traffic inside. Okay. And we may have to. Screw around just to avoid the crowds. Yeah. Hotel Mike. Number 48 Kilo Yankee, proceed on course. You're going up Pahokee, right? Affirmative for 48 Kilo Yankee. We're going to actually do some air work near Pahokee and then come back. Roger. Where do you want to go? Just hold. All right. 180 to Varga. And 2 Echo Sierra looking for lower. Number 2 Echo Sierra, just going to make sure you're going to go up. Yeah. 2 Echo Sierra. Build up some speed and bleed it off. Number three six four zero Alpha Contact. Uh, he still got it. Look at that. <laughs> one twenty uh, You know, it was a, an adjustment because it, it was over a couple of years before, since I when I, when I last really flew. Uh huh. And it, 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 I was a little behind for the first few flights getting back into it. You know, uh, but it, it, you, you kind of catch Number back two, up. Echo Sierra, reduce the final approach speed. Yeah, uh, you're doing great. Thank you. We're uh, two zero four zero two zero. Tomorrow, departure radar contact. Maintain uh, VFR two thousand five hundred right, and let's see. runway two Sent eight approach. nine. Uh, international Don't windshield have ice protection not required. Temperature set two nine nine three. Thank you three times. Weight and balance is done. We're four zero two zero. Hotel right. Get our landing speed. And landing weights are good. VREF. We have an approach speed of 89 knots. So we're going to shoot for VREF plus 10. VREF over the numbers. And traffic alert, uh, just above you, also indicates 2000. Type is unknown. Traffic inside, 570. Before you kill Yankee, turn right, heading 180. Right turn 180, kill Yankee. Before you kill Yankee, 7 miles. Question uh, three miles from four two, so heading up two four zero. Maintain uh, two thousand to establish on the final approach course. Clear on uh, runway two seven. Two four zero to establish. Clear, cleared for the RNAV two seven eight kilo Yankee. Yeah, I really like. I mean, the geosynchronous charts, their geo reference charts now are just unbelievable. I mean, your situational awareness is so good with that now. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Yeah. Okay, so I now have the airplane set up for the approach. For whatever reason, it didn't want to. Oh, let's go ahead and arm the intercept. So I have it set. It's in. It's in FMS mode now, but it's called FMS VEC. So it's gonna. It, it was. It's flying ahead until it intercepts. Okay, it looks like it's intercepting now. Yep. So this should go to FMS approach, or it'll make me a liar. It's one of the two. Roger. Proceed on course to Palaca. It is Romeo. Expect runway two seven right. 
And you can see on the right side, uh, or you can see the, the uh, gold diamond. Eight Kilo Yankee, off to tower. Thank you for the help. Good day. Contact Pompano Tower, 125.4. Exec Tower, Clip Ship 4 8 Kilo Yankee is inbound RNAV, runway 27. The Clip Ship 4 8 Kilo Yankee Executive Tower, traffic ahead into the right, 3 miles eastbound 1600, Cherokee 6, continue for runway 27. 8 Kilo Yankee, looking for the traffic and continuing runway 27. Charlie, Golf Golf Lima, Mike Tower. Okay, I like my speed. We're established inbound, everything looks good. Yeah, so when it crossed, we're right at 4C wind, FMS approach, and so, okay. I'll let the airplane capture, fly it down for a little bit, and then I'll switch over to the dangerous flight. <laughs> But you can see, this is a pretty good approach power setting. 65 is not bad. So this is for eight Kilo Yankee. Previously called traffic is passing off your right wing a mile, 1,600, not a factor. Runway 27, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 27, eight Kilo Yankee, and uh, see the traffic on the right. But November, eight Kilo Yankee. I'm sorry, I didn't even ask you. Was this a full stop? Affirmative for four eight Kilo Yankee. This will be a full stop. Roger. Okay, flaps. We got three green. Flaps going to uh, landing mode, or approach mode, I should say. And our V-speed is now 89. November so. 8 Kilo Yankee, additional traffic passing off of your 11 o'clock and one mile north along the shoreline, 400 Skyhawk. Uh, 8 Kilo Yankee, inside. Good eyes, man. So, I haven't really messed with the power setting at all. It should start to settle in just under 140 knots, which is what I need in order to do full flaps. There's 141. How far out am I? I'm still seven miles, so we're good. I don't usually go full flaps until I'm about three miles. But it tracks inbound pretty nicely. I yeah. mean, my, my input has been pretty negligible here. If you manage all your you know power settings and stuff correctly, like you said, you just you know you're you're, you're not actually pulling throttle back. You're just putting oh. gear down, putting flaps in. And, and and that took me a good two years of flying this airplane to figure out. Yeah. And on one of my recurrents, the guy said, "Here, let, let me let me show you something." Yeah. And he said, "Just set the power and don't freaking touch it." Yeah. And and you know I set my 170 knots and then I just start throwing shit out, and all of a sudden the airplane slows itself down. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm kind of lazy by my nature, so the least I have to do, right, the hey. better off we, everybody is. All right, so it's a little bit of a crosswind from the left, which I can feel. Yeah, we crabbed a little. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and give it full. God damper's off. It'll be cool to watch this building pass right underneath us. Yeah. 500. Oh, the cameras, they're still attached. <laughs> I sure hope they are. I'll feel like shit if they're not. I bet they went to the right down one for runway 270 up here. All right, I got three green. I got full flaps. I have a runway in sight. Airspeed's good. And we are landing. November 0 Alpha Sierra flight eastbound for three miles and then starts a turn to the right downwind for runway 27. Flight eastbound now for three miles and turning uh, right to the downwind zero off there. Two direct sir, request for frequency change. November 20 X ray contact Pompano Tower 1254. All right, four. nice and smooth. Five, five, Thank four. you. Two, Better than the pancake I had Kilo yesterday. Yankee, <laughs> 8Q Yankee is going to Banyan. November 8 Kilo Yankee, roger. Turn left tack to a Bravo, contact ground. Left at Bravo into ground, 8Q Yankee. All right.
Does this thing have spoilers uh, or anything? Nope. To pop? No, okay. Just brakes. Brakes. Brakes are it, which is why long runways are critical. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, thank you for taking us up. Take me up. Oh, man, my pleasure. It was a lot of fun. Hopefully the uh, camera overheating situation. Yeah, I hope we got enough footage for you. Yeah, I'm sure it will. It, it just makes it harder for me to edit because um, I like to keep everything going at once where I don't turn everything off and on. Gotcha. And now it's going to be harder to edit. Abram, thank you, sir. It was an absolute pleasure. Yeah, really, no, pleasure was all mine. It was a uh, great airplane, really, first time flying in one, really fun airplane, so. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you got a chance to see it, and uh, you're a heck of a pilot, man. <laughs> well, thank you, I appreciate it. You are too, so. Thank all you. All right, we'll see you next time. You got it. Thank you. Well, thank you for watching another episode of Flying Doodles. A lot of fun doing this, but please click the like button and subscribe. If you really enjoy it, it's patreon.com slash flying doodles. And there might be a link popping up here where we're flying next. I'm not sure where we're gonna be, but let's go fly. You got an airplane? Let's do the same thing.